Welcome back to McVee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2023 Ford E-Transit. This particular E-Transit is finished in Oxford white. Uh, the E-Transit is a fully electric version of your typical transit van. Uh, so there is no gas engine on this particular model. This is the medium roof 148 inch wheelbase version, which is a very popular configuration for the transits. Uh, they are offered in three different roof heights and three different lengths. So this is kind of the uh, middle in terms of your height and also the length. And again, this one is in Oxford white. I will start with the front end of the E-Transit. This is actually where the charge port is. So we do actually have a charge port kind of hidden in the grill. Um, so this is your charge port door and you do have either uh, your standard connector or the fast charging capability on E-Transit as well. Uh, so you have both that and there is a little status indicator right there for, uh, for the charged level. There's also the signature grill with the blue kind of stripes there, which is a unique feature on the E-Transits. And then we'll come around to the side here. We do have a 16 inch steel wheel wrapped in a 235 65 uh, van tire. We do have a nice little uh, hubcap there as well. So it has these short arm mirrors with the turn signal. It also has the heated function. It is a dual convex mirror as well. It also has the keyless entry pad here on the, uh, on the driver door. And again, this is your medium roof version, 148 inch wheelbase which Ford considers the long wheelbase. It has the dual rear cargo door. And there's the E-Transit logo there on the back. We also have a, a rear tow hook, which is just on the passenger side. And the rear view camera is all the way up at the third brake light. And then we'll take a look into the interior of the E-Transit. Again, we do have that keyless entry pad there on the door. And this one is fitted with the two-way manual adjustable black cloth seat. Now, this is a captain's chair, so we actually have uh, armrest here, which is definitely nice for comfort. Now, these are very, very comfortable to sit in. Uh, these are definitely nice for you know, long, longer you know, use. Uh, so those are great seats. And then the door panel, got lots and lots of storage. We've got storage up top, middle, below. You get loads and loads of storage, of course. And then there's also power windows right here. You get your power locks, power mirrors are right here power equipment group and then we also have the automatic headlights we also have auto hold and electronic parking brakes so that's just you know of course much easier to use and rubber flooring is standard as well so you have vinyl slash rubber flooring much much easier to uh, keep clean but now we'll hop inside take a look at the key fob now this is our standard transit key you do have ability to actually lock or, or i guess unlock the cargo doors uh, individually of the actual cab this has your standard stick and key with the ignition as well, uh, but of course your engine does not turn over right away. And then this is the gauge cluster, which is uh, changed up of course a little bit for the E-Transits. We have a little uh, kind of power meter right here and the fuel gauge is not really a fuel gauge anymore. It's more of a battery charge and then your, uh, your usage as well. Have the uh, multimedia controls over here. You have your uh, voice recognition system, your volume, all that. And then on the right side is controls for the center gauge cluster screen right there. Lots of additional storage on top of the dash as well. There is also USB connection and a 12 volt. Uh, so if you maybe want to run a dash cam or something like that, uh, you have the ability to do that. You don't have to worry about you know running a wire too too far. And there's even a little cup holder there on to the left side. Um, but in the middle here, this is the uh, nice screen. This is what inc is included actually on every single E-Transit. It has a phenomenal screen and Ford actually made just change recently. Uh, it's a 12 inch uh, display. So from corner to corner, so it's a, it's a nice size and it is uh, sync four. Uh, we're currently into the home screen right here. So you kind of have a uh, little uh, quadrants everywhere. So you have your navigation right there. You also have your phone settings, audio, and then various different settings over there. So of course, if you want to go into navigation, you just click that and then it will pull into the uh, navigation. Your climate control is on the bottom and it's always in the bottom so you know where it is. It's also automatic as well. Various different van features like drive modes. You can also change uh, the various different charge settings and also uh, your departure comfort settings. Lots and lots of uh, stuff in there. And then off the screen you have the drive mode select again as well as max defrost. And there is the transmission selector. Now this is a rear-wheel drive version and it uses a 68-ish kilowatt hour battery. And again, is, uh, is rear-wheel drive. 
And then this is the 12 volt connector. You also have a USB, so again, you keep everything charged up. And this one again has the captain chairs, so it is easy to swing around if you need to access the cargo area. It is making there's lots of room here, uh, so it is easy to walk into the cargo area from the actual driver or passenger seat. And this one also has the optional overhead shelf, uh, so you have additional storage up top. And then we'll take a look into the cargo area. So we have again the dual cargo doors. So this just swing open just like that. And then your other side, the driver's side, just has a little handle that you can swing open like that. Now these doors do have the ability to actually open up more than this. So there's actually a little locking mechanism that you can actually slide and that will unlock the hinge. And now they can swing all the way open. And there's a little stopper right there on the back, of course. And that actually has a magnet. Uh, so it's actually magnetized. So if there happens to be some wind, it'll actually stay in place uh, really, really well. We have the optional six speaker audio. So there's actually two additional speakers in the doors. Uh, so if you, you know, happen to use you know, this as a living space or something like that, uh, this is a little bit more audio in the back. And then again, so this is your cargo area. This one has the optional assist handles, the grab handles, which makes it a lot easier to get in. And also a nice uh, flooring as well, like a vinyl floor, just to kind of help protect it. Nice little step plate right there as well. But we can hop on in. Uh, this one also has some nice LED lighting back here, which does work with the front doors, of course. So when you open up any of the doors, uh, these will turn on for you. And there's even a little manual switch just right up there that you can use as well. This is the side door on the passenger side. Uh, we can either open from the inside or the outside. So you can swing that open. And this one also has a grab handle right here. And this is the uh, charger. Uh, this is either 120 volt or 240 volt. There's an adapter for both. So you can either use that or you can install uh, the Charge Station Pro from Ford. We have some tie down points in, in uh, some of the corners. You have two right there. There's also two in the middle and then you have two at the rear. So if you're interested in this particular 2023 Ford E-Transit, it is for sale here at McPhee Ford. You can either give us a call or visit us at mcpheeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.